Hi there, Uncle Davis here. You're watching MPH TV Nothing Pro here, and today we're going to take a look at the Enbank RG3. No, wait, hang on. We have done that already. Wrong box. Sorry. Uh, must be this one, the Retro Pocket Three, because they both voice on mix them up. No, wait. No, 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 no. It's not even this one. Um. Oh yeah, must be. Uh, oh, sorry. Apologize. It must be this fancy AYN Odin Pro. Which no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure I've done it again. I mean, there's just so many of these. Oh, wait, wait. Has to be this one. <laughs> Look at the box. First up. Let's see some sort of protective case. And as you can see, if you can recognize this logo, is. A, a Neo and this is what we are looking at today the A, a Neo Air Pro <laughs> okay so look at this this is the A, a Neo Air Pro uh, looks pretty looks pretty awesome looks pretty big actually the box is actually pretty big and let's check it out at the back here as we can see is uh 5825u 16 gig ram 512 gigabytes again polar back windows 11 home edition all right let's open this up okay Real gamers, no gamers. Interesting. It actually reminds me of uh, unboxing the Fanatec gear. <laughs> okay. So we've got foams here. Very, very nice laid out of the accessories. So we've got. So look, what is this? Okay, so this is a plug for uh, UK. Um, and Hong Kong, um, put it there. And this is the Australian plug. Oh, okay, they actually give you all the plugs. Assuming. Okay, I can't, can't actually get that one out. How do you even get this one out? But I can see this is the. Okay, there you go. <laughs> it's very tight. Okay, so this is another one. I'm assuming this is the power supply, which then you can um, just attach the adapters to it. So it goes like this. And that's it, we've got our Australian plug, USB C, got a USB C to USB A adapters, actually, two of them. Actually, two of them. And what is this? Assuming our cables. Okay, USB C cable. Aha, finally, black cables for a black device. I don't know if they will actually put white cables if you order the white color. Right, so that's this side. What about this side? The A Neo Pro, welcome. And, oh, okay. This is the actual uh, user menu. You got okay. So, so not 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 a uh, Chinese on the other side situation again because it's actually on the same page. Um, what? Right. So it's like a quick quick guide. Dear gamer, please notice this tip. So we are at the uh, 18 watts limit for the uh, A Neo Air Pro, and then this is the actual user menu. Okay, I'm not really a fan of. I'm not really a fan of this. Um, it feels very. Oh, is that too many? Too many? Too many small parts like. They would have been better if they provide this in one booklet. 
Like these just feels like they're gonna get lost like very soon. Just like too many pieces of paper. Space instruction in it. I mean, yeah, it's like it is. It's cool. They they try to make it a little bit different, but I would rather they they put a traditional booklet and then I just flip through at the page. Okay, so and there you go. Here is the Air Neo Air Pro. Let's take this thing out. Please peel off this step mask before use. Oh my god, this thing is. This thing is heavy. This thing is heavy. Like not not like heavy heavy, but at least it is heavier than the um, the AYN Odin. Definitely more chunky. A lot more thickness there, but it feels actually this one feels pretty similar. Um, I would say this one feels a little bit better than the um, AYN Odin. We've got the, the sticks here, which again is um, small sticks, but feels okay. Uh, the D-pad, D-pad is um, a little bit more travel. Um, you've got the um, some sort of menu or home something something option button. I guess more like a start and select. Okay, so these two buttons is not very clicky. A little bit too mushy here, uh, to my liking. But I guess we will see when we actually start using it. ABXY, now finally, because this is probably because it's a Windows handheld, so it's ABXY, not the Nintendo ABXY. Um, and then you got the A Neo button there, and also some other buttons as well, which sure the, uh, the user menu will cover it off. Over on the top here, we've got the uh, LB and LT, uh, or L1 and L2, um, and then you've got the RB and RT, and then you have the finger fingerprint sensor, I believe, the volume rockers, USB-C port, and this is the massive uh, vent. <laughs> At the bottom here, we have got the micro SD card slot, a uh, headphone jack, and also an other USB-C port. And look at the bottom or the back. You have this massive fan there. Got a um, ANEO logo there. Um, but that's pretty much it. There's no extra buttons here like the AY and Odin. So Probably not all of us need that button, but there was one situation I found those two buttons are pretty useful is when I'm playing Sega Saturn because it has A, B, C, and X, Y, Z on the original controller, and it's, you know it's kind of difficult to try map six buttons into this for A, B, X, Y. So I used the two buttons at the back to be um, the Z and the C. Well. That is the, the first look of the uh, ANEO Air Pro. Let's power it on and have a look what's inside its actual beautiful device. Okay, so before we power it along, we have to follow the instructions here. Please, please peel off this step mask. I don't know what step mask means. Before use. So... Um, Okay, so we've got the blue light, LED lights here. And the new logo comes up. This is a 5.5 inch OLED OLED display. So I'm expecting some very, very beautiful eye candy from this screen. Uh, Windows is setting up. Um, yeah, you can definitely see this is how the screen was designed for, <laughs> for mobile phone. Getting ready. Assuming it takes a bit longer for the first time. Here we are. So we're gonna go for English. We'll have to do it like this. 
this. Okay. I mean, these are just a very standard Windows setup, so most of you guys should probably know what to do. Next. Checking for updates. Okay, so the updates checking is done, so we could accept the terms and conditions and the uh, end user license agreement and all that. Let's name your device. Okay. Want to use your fingerprint to sign in faster and more secure? Well, yeah, sure, since we have got a fingerprint sensor. All right, here we go. So we have, we're now into Windows, finally. Let's get my focus right. Maybe you're not familiar with it, don't worry. Let's make some simple settings. And then it's asking me to upgrade. So go next. Most recent game. And okay, so this is, must be the AS base. Optimize. Wild Pro is that's the fan thing. The game mode, resolution, software versions, and etc. etc. Okay, so how do I exit here? Okay, the closing, the closing airspace. Yes, and here we are. We are in the air new air. Alright, so we'll definitely need to spend some time again <laughs> Try to set it up, try to put some games on and stuff So we'll come back um, in the next video To do some actual gaming And see how it performs So thank you so much for watching this uh, very short uh, unboxing video So far it feels very good And uh, we'll hopefully see you guys in the next video When we try to do some uh, gameplay and see how it performs See you later